please excuse my demonstration area or my display area as it were I'm about to put a sink in I was gonna do it today but I didn't get to it so uh, I just got this it's not the one I wanted but we can't always get what we want especially when we don't buy them before they sell out I couldn't bring myself to spend like twenty dollars or thirty dollars or whatever ridiculously silly price it was because I'm a frugal man and uh, I thought well I don't really need it yet till I get new handlebars so I'll wait but then I was wanting to get it what bothers me that that's plastic because the mount is aluminum and it appears to be much much larger it's actually huge um, than the one I initially was looking at oh my goodness this definitely seems pretty heavy duty yeah that was the whole I think the other one was all aluminum but uh, I cannot express to you how heavy she truly is I'm not really sure how it tightens it almost looks like it doesn't even open up enough X show camera slash GoPro bike mount Yeah, I don't think I'm impressed with this. Uh, this is the weirdest design anyway. It makes literally no sense. Like, how does this even... Like, it's got this freaking... Stop nut on the end. And so then that tightens it up. But then what? Then you just got this giant bolt hanging out the back. Like, it's such a weird design. Yeah, I think this is going back. Okay, screw it. I went ahead and ordered the actual GoPro mount that looks similar to this. In the meantime, I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw this on. You know, I totally wait two years to do projects, or I don't wait two years to do projects. I do projects over the course of two years. And while not too bad, when she's all said and done, I uh, ignore my last night pizza boxes that I have yet to throw away. But, uh, not the worst. I just got finished putting the sink in, and I don't think I did a good job. <laughs> the silicone's white, it's supposed to dry clear. I don't think I put enough on that side or tightened it down, but these clips certainly leave something to be desired. The front looks better. This side seems, but I, it could be the reflection. I mean, it's hard to tell, right? Because the, the, the dang counter is so shiny. Uh, the drain does not leak. Um, oh, there's more putty though. Apparently some more came out. So yeah, last night when I'm doing this, like I just can't, you know, they got it. They got a filter on there. They got a filter, it's like a three filter system, but they also want you to use plumber's putty. Well, so you know, the plumber putty squeezes out. Well, maybe you don't know, but that's what happens. You put a ring around this inside notch, and then as you're going, it squeezes out. Well, that damn, you know, ring, the face of that foam ring kept on squeezing out too. And I tried like three different times to reseat it. And maybe I don't need to get it so tight. Maybe I just didn't need to get it as tight, but it seemed like I needed to get it tight. So by the time I got it tight enough, that ring had popped out so much, I finally just took the razor blade, and I trimmed, I trimmed it out, and I tested it. I took the whole sink to the bathtub, I ran water in it, and I had my wife hold the drain down because you know there's a little bit of leakage through the bottom of the drain. I sat there and watched and over over a rug and no no water drips, so it should be good there. And uh, 
I don't know what happened to our soap dispenser, but somewhere there's a soap dispenser that goes in there. You know what happened to our soap dispenser? Oh, here it is. Never mind. A little pump. There's little spots of rust. I'm presuming I can clean this up with stainless steel. There's one. There's one. Some sort of stainless steel polish, presumably. I can uh, get those spots of rust out. Rushed. But yeah. Gotta clean up under here first, but I think that she's going to be solid. There we go. Uh, let's shed a little light on the subject. I mean, there's definitely sealant poking through, so maybe it's tight enough. These clips leave something to be desired. They are, uh, some of them get a little cattywampus when you start to really hog down on them. Of course, I'm just using a hand, a hand screwdriver, but I didn't have that handy. So I got to shut off the water, get little valves there, and then I just hooked my hoses into my valves. And Uncle Bobinos, I bet I didn't mark. Yeah, so obviously I have no clue which one's hot and which one's cold because it's been two years and I didn't bother marking it. Of course. Okay, but I gotta wait like 36 hours or something before I can, uh, before I can use the sink. So, and hopefully I got up all the putty and there's not gonna be any residual marks on my epoxy counter. Oh, there's some more. See, more just squeezing out. I'll uh, work on that. Okay, I think I did it. I'm not sure if I showed you all the sink in and caulked yet. Still hadn't been quite 36 hours, so I'm not supposed to run water around it, but I got the plumbing, the drains hooked up. She's under a little bit of tension because this black pipe, you know, this pipe came out of the ground at one point and I had my son reinstall it underground. And of course, the one thing I forgot to tell him was make sure it's kind of well, one of the wires, it's probably had a brace wire. One of the wires probably came off. But as you can see, it's not straight up and down. It's a little bit cattywampus to the right, which is putting a little bit of extra strain on my drainage system here. But not too bad. And this is all put back together, and I got no leaks. Even though I had to use two reducing couplings. Um, I don't think I'm leaking. I had a drip of water, but I'm pretty sure that's from when I... Uh, Took the things out. Took my plugs out. Don't be afraid to ask for help, people. Oh, we do got a drip. We got a drip. Son of a bitch. Time that I can get it. <clears throat> Yeah, I still got a leak right here. All right, take everything apart again. Oh, I got leaks all over the place. Oh, you know what? I bet this is supposed to have thread tape too. I bet you that's why I'm leaking there. Okay, yeah, so thread tape fixed the drain problem. But I'm still going to fix this leak over here. Somehow I actually got the hot and water right, hot and cold water right, even though it wasn't marked. But now I've got to turn off the water, drain the system, and take this front tap off. Make sure it's just the front one that's leaking first. Okay. I, uh, time to try all this again. I went and got a new nut slash gasket kit because I ripped my paper gasket because my drain was leaking too so I had to take it all apart but I watched the video so I should be able to do it now so I got my old drain and I actually have one of my gaskets and then I'm going to try it without plumber's putty so I got this puttyless sink strainer gasket and they had a terrible tool they didn't have a nice round one they had this ridiculous square thing so I'm probably going to use it and take it back because it was 15 bucks and then I'm an idiot, because even though I've done this all before, I'm an idiot, but even though I've done this all before, um, you know, I didn't, I just showed them what a picture of what I had, those pipes coming out of the ground, it's like, got a three quarter inch plug going into it, what do I need to go up to my water lines, you know, that are hanging down here. 
And he's like, oh, well, well this doesn't, we don't have one of these that goes into that, so you have to do a coupling, then a reducing coupling, and then into this, and how you doing, and then a valve. It's like, me not okay. Um, I can't crank these tight enough to not leak, they're still drippy drippy. And so I blame him a little bit, because somebody in the know should have just said, well, hey, what about shark bite? You can just cut that cord, cut that pipe, and use shark bite, which is actually what I did in the bathroom. So what I should be able to do, what I should be able to do is cut these gray cords below the coupling there, below the, below the flare out of the connection, and then I should just be able to push these shark bites directly onto it. So yeah, wish me luck. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be fucked because I'm gonna be waterless. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rip out the cabinets to get to the water line. I don't even know how you could how you would get to the water lines. So I have no room for error. Oh my goodness. I wanna jinx anything, but it appears as though we've done it. It appears as though we've done it. We got the flexi tube on there to take away some of the stress. She's still a little bit stressed, but not as tight as she was. She doesn't appear to be leaking. Uh, it doesn't appear to be leaking here. I had to go back again because and get shark bite, gar, shark bite couplings, but then you've got to get a coupling or sh not couplings, but shark bite, you know, things. And uh, but you have to get a coupling to go from polybura polybutylene to PEX or CVPC or copper or whatever you got going. The 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 little yellow inside the shark bite that goes to everything except polybutylene. Polybutylene has a little gray coupling uh, connector. So that to that, that to that. Everything's on, water's running, I see no leaks. I hear no water. I see no leaks there. I got water pressure here. Nothing is, nothing appears to be leaking. I think we're golden. I think we finally did something. Oh my freaking goodness. Oh my freaking goodness, Winter. For yourself. Yeah. Oh, the spray tech. Oh, fanty pant. We'll just go like, Wah! I don't know how much to use that, but because I don't like the way it flexes this whole thing. So, don't love that design. But love everything else about it, especially the fact that it's done. Scores! <laughs>
So I'm just chilling this morning. My wife had just got home from work. She was eating her dinner breakfast. And I was uh, chilling beside her in my chair when I heard a loud, I don't know, it honestly sounded like pipes clanging together. And I couldn't find anything, you know, untoward. So I was like, I don't know. I guess everything's fine. Weird. I don't know what that was. And then about five minutes later, <clears throat> ten minutes later maybe, I went to go use the sink and realized we had no water. So I came out here to look at the uh, look at the well box to see if it had see if the, the breaker had tripped and it hadn't but I smelled a weird smell and the other day when I turned it on I shut it off when I was uh, putting in the sink and when I turned it back on I heard a big popping sound which I'd never heard before so I came out here and I smelled yeah you know, it hadn't tripped but I, I turned it off and then I, I leaned and I, I smelled weird smells I'm like what the hell are all these so it smelled like a burning electrical smell so I went ahead and take off the took off the panel there and you can see the black burn mark in front of where the breaker was and this thing was full of wasp nests one two three four a mud dauber nest um so at least four there's one wasp still hanging around so i guess you take a cotton ball and you soak it you put on some rubber gloves take a cotton ball you soak it with wasp poison and you stick it in the bottom of the box and then supposedly that'll be enough well you know for a year to keep them out I guess I could just pop this breaker out. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably just shut the power off real quick, pop this breaker out. Okay, chop. White. White is on the bottom. Black is on the top. Yep. Definitely exploded. Definitely the sound we heard. There's a lot of black in there. All of our other power is fine, so I guess, uh, I guess it's okay to just continue using it but man I don't know kind of makes me want to oh I'm not even filming anything sorry kind of makes me want to call an attrition uh, an attrition an electrician out here and make sure it's legit wish I was more confident that my son knew what he was doing because he does all this shit himself but he's no in no way certified he's in no way had any training other than whew, the minimal amount of assistance he gave my father-in-law, you know, his grandpa, before he died, um, who was also not an electrician, but did work for Pike Electric for 40 years. But that's, you know, stringing power lines and stuff, not not working on people's electricity for his house, a little bit different. I understand some of the basic concepts are the same, but... <sighs> oh don't know. I don't know. Sorry about the, the close-up with no video. I don't know. I'm real nervous about uh, just putting another breaker in, but I guess the worst that can happen is it'll pop again. Well, that thing is full of black. I'm glad we didn't catch fire. She definitely spilled Steve I just want to talk about how, hilar how hilarious it is that uh, the day after I get my sink and faucet, like, that I start using it. I mean, you know, I had to let it. I had it in for... 36 hours before I could start using it. I had to fix the I had to fix the drain issue uh, and redo that, and then get the new the new water supply pieces. Right. So uh, yeah, even after this part was dry and I could have used it, I still had to wait. Um, so technically, I waited like a solid two days. But then I was just using the sink relentless yesterday, all day, just washing dishes and making meals and like a real boy. And uh, of course, of course, I immediately run into issues the second I actually try to. Jesus, I mean what? I can't win for losing. So obviously, uh, the water, my, my, you know, because I always have water problems here, and so my, my, <coughs> my water, my house is like, oh, oh, is that a fact, buddy? Did you think you were going to be a water boy? Oh yeah, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I don't think you are going to be a water. What is going on? Is this Cat Fest 2000? I am going to go and get that breaker and put it in and hope that everything is well and that. We don't have any more issues. This is the original piece I bought before I bought this one. I never even tried this one. I'm not sure that might work, but I read kind of varying reviews about this, which is why when I found this one, um, you know, I got it instead because this is probably actually much more likely to be designed be utilized in such a manure so but the uh the, the uh the air the air gun i bought does not does not work the pneumatic the pneumatic uh 
impact wrench, I guess is maybe what it is, probably. Doesn't work, doesn't have enough, you know, it's just turning the shit out of it, got plenty to turn it, but it doesn't have enough to drive it down in. So apparently a rotary hammer drill is what I want. Rotary hammer drill. About 220 bucks for the DeWalt, about 179 for the Milwaukee, which is like twice the weight. Although it does have a 54 foot cord apparently. <laughs> So that seems kind of ridiculous, but um, uh, I think that I think that I think the Dewalt has a nine-foot cord, which I mean, you know, because makes more sense. Because I mean, I know you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to uh, you know you're gonna tote around a 54. That's probably what's heavy. That's probably what's that's probably the extra six pounds in weight. Is the freaking uh... oh, this is not ant pile. This just be must be Ruger just digging holes. You son of a bitch! You better stop. Yeah, I'd rather just put an extension cord to it and not have a freaking 54 foot long uh, cord attached to my, my hammer drill. I don't know what the, these guys think they're doing here. I don't know what they think's going on here. This is unacceptable. Okay, well, I don't know, bad news. I, uh... I threw a new breaker in. Oh, there's still a wasp in there, trying to under-attack me. Even though there's no fucking nest. Can't believe it didn't get me while I was putting in the thing. But yeah, so, new breaker, wired up. No power. No explosion or anything, but no power. So, I don't even know. I mean, I guess it could be my box down there also. Like, maybe it sends... Like, maybe that's what caused it to... I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to pull that off and see. I really don't want to. Even though, technically, I actually have another box inside. I'm just so tired of messing with this up. I'm so ready to... Every time we start to get some money saved... God fucking damn it, dude. Every time we start to get some credit cards paid off... Start to fucking get, oh, fucking car issue, oh, water issue, oh, electricity issue. Winter, you're going to want to stop watching now. I've seen videos of this, but I've never seen it in real life. I'm so glad it wasn't on the side that I reached underneath. That is a nest of daddy long legs. Uh, I guess I just need to take the cover off the box and see if there's anything that looks fried. I mean, I can always switch it out, pop a new cup top on. But if, if it, I don't know, god dang it, and I still got the pressure switch up there, which I actually have another one of those too, but I just, I don't want to mess with any of this shit. I just want shit to fucking work. And for me to stop having to fuck with shit every god dang, oh. I know it's cruel, and I know daddy long legs eat bugs. But uh, I'm gonna be messing around here. I don't want a big nest today, long legs going crazy on me, whether or not they can bite. So, uh, prepare to say your goodbyes, boys. Looks like a potential black widow web, so don't mind if I give her a little. Oh, yeah, there she is right there. I thought I fucking sunk your ass. Black Widows. Yeah, you don't get to survive either, buddy. Oh, big old one in the corner. Massive mama. Can't even sunk her. She crawled behind the wood. Big old son of a gun. Yeah, me okay with all that. Doesn't appear to be fried. Or any ants on it. But maybe a power surge could have got it bad. So I'll go ahead and grab the other one and throw it on and make sure. See if anything changes. Alright, the well pump control box has been replaced. Yeah, so new pump control box, new breaker, still no water. That is my American Bulldog's hot kitty squeaky toy. 
and 12.12 is just going berserk on it. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm going to stop for a minute tech cleaning. A minute tech cleaning, you friggin' best. Poor hot kitty. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? Something's going on. Oh damn, car drove through the building. That's not good. Holy shit. Straight drove their car through the frickin' building. It's crazy how often that happens. It's almost always an old person. I was like, oh, I just thought I was parking and I just slammed her the gas and drove through the building. Son of a dick. King of the Mountain? Oh, you went up there too, 12? I couldn't stand it anymore, so I had to take over the old lady's semi-completed art room. Because, you know, the one on the other side of this wall is still completely full of stuff. I got my little foam pad set up, my table, my other mat. I need to, I'm probably going to have to break down, I hate to do it, but find me a stud and go ahead and mount me a, uh, a block in here somewhere with some hooks on it to hook my exercise bands to for all my arm exercises. I got these, but these are a little bit different. A little bit different than uh, than these. Yeah, I got my little balance, my little balance ball thing here. My, my, bobble, my, my, my bobble boat, I don't know what they're freaking called. I don't know what they're called. And my, this is my foam. When I, when I pull a muscle, I gotta lay on it, roll on it, press on my, how you doing? But yeah, I mean, it's obviously cluttered. Got my motorcycle stuff, got heaters, my electrical panel, stuff left over from when I was epoxy in it. I mean, because, uh, you know, I still got to finish this side of the wall and that side of the wall. and Do the top baseboards, finish that, put a door back on. But I'm not sure if I recouped my electrical issues. We had explosions, right? Electrical panel explosions. We're having to get a whole new electrical outlets outside. And uh, which may inherently also be my water problem. But yeah, that's going to be $3,000. That's all happening in the next couple weeks. So everything keeps getting pushed back.